Didn't see you there. Huh? Oh, right. Sorry about that. I've just been hard at work putting something together. Well, it was sort of meant to be a bit of a surprise, but since you're already here, I might as well tell you. I'm building a time machine. Or, well, it's, it's a virtual time machine, but still, once it's complete, it'll be able to take us anywhere on Earth to any time period we want. All, all virtually, of course. It would be far too dangerous to do it for real. And if you know anything about my classroom, I'm all about safety. But can you imagine being able to see all the instruments and music that's existed throughout all of Earth's history? We'd be able to see ancient Aboriginals performing, be able to watch Beethoven compose, see Chuck Berry play rock and roll. We could even watch the Beatles live on the Ed Sullivan Show. Well, lucky for us, we won't have to imagine for much longer. I just need to add a few more parts and it will be ready to go. But that still leaves the question, where should we go? That's what I want you to think about this week. Maybe discuss it with an adult, but if you could go to any country, to any time period, to see what music and instruments they had, where would you go? We can talk about it all when we have our lesson. For me, I know where I'm going. I'm going all the way back to see the world's oldest known instrument, the Neanderthal bone flute. And hopefully you can come along and see it with me too in the next video. Anyway, I'd better get back to it or there won't be a next video. Catch you guys online. Have a good one. Yeah. <sighs>